Hello everyone, this is Kendra Watkins and this is another installment of our ASUN Lunchbox. And join with me today, I have members of the FGCU volleyball team who actually swept our preseason award. So um, I'll let them introduce themselves. First, starting with um, the preseason player of the year. Go ahead, you introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Courtney Van Lu. I am on the FGCU volleyball team. I'm an outside hitter and this is my senior year. Awesome. I love the way you freestyled that because I gave you no um, like warning of what to do. So good job. Thank you. <laughs> and also join with us. We have our preseason defensive player of the year. Hi, I'm Dana Axner. I'm a junior also on the volleyball team and I'm a libero. There we go, libero. Okay. And also we have our preseason setter of the year and I'll let her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Chelsea. I'm a part of the FGCU women's volleyball team and I'm a junior as well. All right, two juniors and a senior. And um, I'll start off since we have two juniors and a senior. My first question will go to uh, Mrs. Van Lu. Um, Courtney, just tell me, just being a senior on um, this team and just um, like your senior, senior, your senior season, how has it been for you just going into this season and just being in that role of a senior? It's honestly not what I expected, probably because this past year has not been anything that I expected whatsoever, just with everything that's been happening. So um, it was kind of a learning experience of being a senior, trying to lead everyone through the pandemic while also trying to get myself through it. Um, so that added a little bit of a, a fun challenge to the role that typically we don't have. So I like that a lot. Oh, you like that a lot. Yeah, it was a it was a a good chance to try out my leadership skills and to see what what it's all about. Got you, got you, got you. And let me ask, let me ask Dana and Chelsea. Um, how have you guys been dealing with the pandemic and just um this long layoff? It seems like it's been a long time since our last volleyball game, and I could just recall being there in November and just everything that was going on in Fort Myers. So, how have you guys been dealing with everything during the pandemic? Yeah, I think um, it's been it's been tough at times. I think at the beginning, it was just so uncertain. And I know things are still uncertain, but it's almost become more normal in a way that it's uncertain. So we're just like, like trying to roll with the punches and just taking what comes at us. Like we don't even know for sure who will play next week and if we'll play them, what time and so we're just trying to take it um, one day at a time and just keep working hard. Okay. Chelsea, what about yourself? Um, I mean, similar to what these two have already said, like I'm just thinking back to last spring when, you know, we first got shut down and then it, it turned into what we thought was going to be maybe a two week deal. Um, and then it turned out being us going back home and leaving at GCU um, and then trying to find ways to train at home. Um, and that just feels like forever ago. So thinking about just all of summer and then all of this, um, the fall training is, it's been crazy. And, but we have, like they said, we've learned to work with these challenges and hopefully eventually um, better us for this spring. Okay, let me ask, how has it been just, I mean, with the uncertainty and not knowing um, you know, what may happen on a week-to-week -week basis, like who you're playing, um, what your practice schedule may be like, or um, just your interaction with your own teammates? Um, that, that's a good question. I think we have always tried at FGCU to, like Dana said, take it one day at a time. So focus on the next practice, the next play, um, just kind of working with that mentality of one day at a time. So I think we were well-prepared um, for the challenges that are coming this season. Back in fall, when we thought we would play in the fall, coach reminded us to be like water, be adaptable and um, to be ready to do whatever. And I think that we really embrace that throughout the entire fall. And we use that off time to get to know each other better, to spend more time together, um, both on and off the court. And I think that really helped us out. Yeah, I was going to say it's kind of been a like blessing in disguise almost. Um, like I, I wouldn't really change anything. I'm glad this has all happened because we've been able to focus on our current team and what we have to offer, what we can better 
like on the court and off the court, just what we can do to improve on ourselves rather than always focusing on opponents. And now that we're finally getting back into gameplay, it's, it's fun knowing that we've had all that time to really work on ourselves. And that's, that actually brings up a um, good question. Um, uh, just during all of this layoff, because um, there has been a lot of self-improvement uh, just on my end, just things that I've been learning how to do and things that um, I've been trying to get better at both professionally and personally. Um, what are some things that um, you guys have worked on um, just during this long layoff, just both professionally, um, I mean, well, you know, in um, just basically on the court as well as off the court? Either of you got something? Um, I would say just, I mean, I think Dana kind of leaned into it a little bit about, um, and Courtney as well, just getting to know all the new girls coming in. I mean, we only had two freshmen this year, but I can't imagine being a freshman this year and this being your situation. So being able to, I guess, have more time to build that relationship with those two and strengthen the relationships that we missed out on building in the spring with the rest of our team. Um, and then as far as practices, I would say that, you know, each day it, it got kind of easy and we wanted to make sure that we weren't um, slumping into just kind of, oh, just another day of practice. Like we wanted to keep the mentality of um, training each day. Like we had a game the next weekend or the next day. Yeah, I would say um, going back to the basics just every day, um, just simple volleyball, making the easy things um, that sometimes aren't so easy, just really harping on those, like uh, just the skills that you need to be better and the teams that can do those the best will win. So I think working on the basics and then also just trying to be um, better teammates and what we can do to help each person around us become better. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And um, just asking because I know just going into this um, current season, um, you guys came up um, last season um, where we had the um, championship in your backyard. Um, and I wanted to know just how everything that took place last season has prepared you um, for this upcoming season and just everything that went on. So, um, Obviously, the way our last season ended wasn't what we were hoping. Um, Nobody likes to lose the last game of the season, especially in the conference championship. But I think that really gave us a lot of motivation on what to, what we need to work on and what we need to fix going into the next season, whenever it is. Um, I think we learned a lot about ourselves as individuals. It's hard to lose such a, a close game like that. And to know that in honesty, it came down to about seven points in the whole entire match, which is a, not very many points in a five set match. And so I think that we learned to really pay more attention to the details um, because that's what's gonna make the difference. If there was maybe one or two or seven points we could have done differently, then um, we could have had a completely different outcome. And so going forward into this next season, I think we're really gonna focus on you know, doing our jobs, doing the details right, and then letting that take care of itself. And also I wanted to ask, and um, you can, because I know just being there, and first of all, that was one of the most exciting games I've been to. Um, just, I, I thought it was really awesome. Like, I really love your crowd environment and everything that takes place there. Um, just, I know the game got off, um, just, you guys went down 0-2, I believe. And like, what happened in the huddle just for you guys? Because it just seemed like just something clicked um, just right then, and you guys just came out and um, like really, um, there was like a new energy. Just what may have happened in that huddle during that particular time? Do either of you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm trying to, I mean, I, I feel like we've always tried to, I mean, I don't know if it was necessarily um, that match, but it, it was something that, a situation that we hadn't been in before, probably all season. Um, and I, I think our team is just super competitive. So when we went down in that zero two hole, uh, I think I think automatically like a flip just switched whether something was said in the huddle or, or not or whatever it was motivated us. But um, I, I think our team has a lot of grit. 
um, and that showed within the next two sets. But unfortunately, it, it wasn't quite enough. And um, if anything, like we've been using that match for motivation throughout all of our training, and we're just really excited to get back out there and hopefully give it another shot. Okay, and just taking that into this season, um, how has that prepared you? And um, was there anything that you um, wanted to work on just coming into this season, um, just to build off of that season and just propel you um, to, I guess, back to the next level? I mean, I think um, thinking back on last season, it, it kind of feels like a completely different, just a whole different year, a whole different team we just we've kind of um changed in a lot of ways it, it doesn't seem like it um maybe by personnel but um last year we i remember in that game we were just playing we wanted to play for the seniors that kind of motivated us and that oh two hole it was like play for the people that have got you there who have like placed everything on the line for them and that's very motivating and i think we're very thankful i'm very thankful for losing sometimes because if you won them all like you're not going to stay motivated and so that last game again I'm thankful for everything that's happened and just you can watch film and individually you can learn what to do better which is what I think we're doing at practice and every day so just there's some specifics but um just working on it every day yeah I would say the the loss in the championship probably changed us a lot but I think the loss of the sport in general in the spring and then again in the fall was something that I think none of us expected and it it kind of gave us all a new perspective on what the sport of volleyball really means to us not having the opportunity to practice every single day and I think that when we're in the gym we can tell that um, we know what it's like to not have it to not be able to practice and so even in the fall when we found out um, we weren't going to be playing any games. We, we were saying, at least we get to practice, at least we get to be in the gym. So I think that that was also something that made it a big difference for us. Gotcha, gotcha. And um, thank you for adding that. I mean, that, that was pretty much quotable. Some things I could take away from that. And um, also your coach saying, be like water. I guess like a Bruce Lee reference. So um, I thought that was pretty awesome. But um, just off the court, um, just um, when you guys hang out with one another, if you guys have had the opportunity to hang out with one another, I don't know how everything goes during the pandemic, but um, how have you guys been keeping each other's spirits up and dealing with everything that's been just going on? Um, well, I would say like our connection with everyone is um, pretty strong and I feel like everyone on the team, um, like there's no one that I couldn't like feel there's no one that I wouldn't have a conversation with that I wouldn't walk away with dying laughing, honestly. And while this year has been pretty um, strict about what we can and can't do, I think it's also been a great time for growth with one, like my roommates, Dana and Tori, um, and just getting to build those relationships with them. And through all the craziness, it is something that um, I'm thankful for. And um, I do believe that these relationships that are being built outside of the court will eventually help us play well on the court. Yeah, she couldn't have said it better. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Who makes you laugh the most? Which teammate Aja makes you laugh the most? Aja Jones. Aja Jones. <laughs> Aja Jones, okay. Anybody, she's unmatched. Anybody has a story or anything that um, first can be said here and then <laughs> Oh man, this is slipping. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, her fall was pretty funny. It's just stuff she does that isn't even, she, like, she won't even be trying to be funny, and it's just makes random noises, you know, always has the, the <laughs> that'll get us all laughing. Even coach will laugh. You know, that's, that's how you can tell someone's really funny, you know, if, if coach will laugh at her. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. And, um, what do you guys, what do you guys like to eat? Um, I just know because you guys are from different places. I know Chelsea, you're from um, Colorado. Um, yeah. um, we have an Ohio representer and we also have a Indiana representer. So um, I'm from Tampa. So, you know, the Bucks just got to the Super Bowl. So I'm still excited about that. So 
I can tell you a lot about um, the food in Tampa, um, just basically all the Cuban food and everything that we have there, but and Spanish food. But what do you guys like to eat um, when you have your own free time? Because this is the lunchbox, so I definitely want to know. Oh, that's such a good question. I would say I'm a big fan of breakfast foods in general. So, you know, like pancakes or omelets, egg sandwiches. I'm always, always, always down for breakfast any time of the day. This is a historic moment when I said, what do people like to eat? And the third thing that came out of their mouth was an egg sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite meal an you egg know, sandwich like is there bread, any some bacon some cheese nice egg sometimes some peppers some onions i'm a big egg sandwich gal okay i need you to dress that up and say like a breakfast sandwich with like bacon eggs cheese maybe go to the type of cheese that you like you know if it's um like american if it's polvalone um yeah, you got to dress that up. You just can't say an egg sandwich. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, me and Snowy and I, my roommate, uh, we make family breakfast every morning, which is, you know, a breakfast sandwich. I'll fry the bacon while she makes the eggs. We put the uh, we Teamwork. get the special special sourdough bread that we that we have the, you know, the sandwich on, and then we get this one cheese, and you can only find it at Target, and it's garlic and herb cheese. And it just makes it so good. So good. See, there we go. See, now you, now you put all your adjectives and everything together. See, now I'm a fan of your egg sandwich. Yes, they're very good. You would enjoy it. All right. What, what are you guys eating? What's going on? What's going on in this um, roommate situation? Man. Oh, as much as I, I'd like to say a breakfast or an egg sandwich, um, I'm going to have to go with, I love spicy foods. Like, whatever it is, like, I... I'll love it. Like I, it's probably not good for me, but I love it. <laughs> and I hate it. And my, my dad actually makes this like awesome green chili. That is like my number one dish. I, I can't tell you what's really in it. He's told me before, but I, I can never remember all the ingredients, but that's more of like a Colorado thing. Cause it's, I'm not going to make chili here. It's just too hot for me. But, um, I guess here, uh, I'm a big pizza fan. I, I like, all kinds of pizza, I guess. What's your go-to though? Um, I, I like pineapple on pizza. There we go. So See, I either hate it or love it, and I think it's so good. There we go. Do you do you do the contrasting ham, or is it just pineapple? I go, I go pineapple, ham, and cream cheese. Ooh, that's a new one. I I, I never heard of the. Cream. <laughs> I never heard of the cream. Don't what? Try it. What pizza place have you went to where they had cream cheese in their arsenal? Um, it's called Roma's. It's back home. I don't think there's any in Florida. Okay, wait. There is one other pizza, though. It's a taco pizza, and it is so good. Like A taco <laughs> pizza? Yes. Like, okay. Yeah, I, it, it's unmatched, honestly. Like It, it really beats the pineapple. I'm going to try this pineapple, ham, and uh, what, sour cream pizza? I, I think I'm gonna have to make this because I've never seen this before. Um, if it's nasty, I'm tagging you. <laughs> if it's nasty, I'm tagging you, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I know the sweet and I know the sweet and spicy. Con I mean, sweet and um, salty contrast, but I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with the sour cream. So no, cream cheese, cream cheese, cream cheese, cream cheese. Yeah, okay, yeah. sorry. Okay, no, I, I would not go with sour cream. Maybe on the okay. taco pizza, but not not pineapple. Okay, because you said taco pizza, so it threw me off. Okay, that sounds a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, don't do sour cream. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, Dana, you're up. What, what, what are we eating? All right, here's the thing. I used to be, like, really picky. Like, I used to be chicken tenders and fries, like, at every restaurant. Like, that was me. Um, however, <laughs> I, like, I honestly will eat, like, anything now. I don't know what changed. I don't even know when this happened, but like, I'm really not picky and I will eat like, first of all, my mom's like an amazing cook. So I'll eat anything that she makes me. That's like my favorite. Um, but one food, everyone always like, my roommates make fun of me, but I like, <laughs> no, I do. Oh. Like, I love salad. Like 
I, my family eats it before like every meal. Like we will sit down and each have like a bowl of like salad. My dad has his own like dressing. We call it dad's dressing or whatever. But yeah, I just, I love salad, like any kind. Yeah, yeah. that's so funny. Your dad, <laughs> your dad has his own dressing. Yeah. I feel like your dad is a marketing genius. Like he has his, um, yeah, he's just dad's, dad's dressing. Like that, that sounds like such um, something that you would see somewhere. It's top secret, so. Top secret. There we go. All right, well, I, I thank you for that because, um, yeah, again, I like to eat. I, the cream cheese thing, um, it's, it's a little different. Like, I don't have you guys workout regimen, so I don't know if I can. Okay, but it, it beats the egg sandwich, right? What do you It mean? does beat the egg sandwich. Okay. It, <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> yes. It's the egg sandwich is like a distant third. <laughs> I, think, I think the egg sandwich should win this, guys. Come on. Thank you. I mean, yeah. Wally, she, shout out Wally. All right. I'm like, oh, I Wally got creative with that. Especially in Fort Myers for yeah, breakfast. Go to Wally's and get a breakfast yeah. sandwich. And then okay. we'll talk. That's, then yeah. we'll talk. Okay. They put hash browns on it. They put sausage, bacon, ham. You got the burrito, didn't you? That one oh my good. gosh, yeah, that's good too. Breakfast burrito. Ooh, <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah. Gotta be a sauce. There we go. Breakfast foods. There we go. Um, well, I wanted to ask you guys one last question before I let you go. Um, just going into this upcoming season and um, just, um, I know, Courtney, you're a senior. Um, you both are juniors. So um, what are some things that you wanted to do just both um, on the court and off um, just from a growth standpoint? Because I know you guys want to be like water and just um, do all of that stuff that coach is telling you to do. So what are some things that you want to develop personally? Uh, it's hard when when you've been around for four years I think most importantly I want to develop some shots that I haven't had in the past just because you know after four years you have certain tendency tendencies and people can definitely start to read you a little bit better so I think from an attacking perspective I'd like to be a little bit more unpredictable with what I'm doing um, just kind of mix it up and, and keep people on their toes and let you guys fight it out, so. <laughs> um, that's tough. There's a lot of things um, I would like to work on. I would like to be probably just more confident on the court and just use my voice a little bit more, I guess. Um, and just work, I don't know. I just, you know, there's a lot I'd like to work on. But I'm just excited because there's just so much opportunity like coming forward. And just like Courtney said, I just it's made me like view the sport in such a different way. I don't know, but I'm just excited. Yeah. And adding off of both of them, like Courtney said, she's been here for four. We've been here for three. Dana says there's so much to work on it. And there is. And I think that's something that we can really work with and hold on to is this being um, coachable and willing to try new things and um in doing so like I think that that will really help strengthen us as a team as a whole if if we can figure out what we need to do individually and and how we can bring that um to the group as a whole got you all right well I again I want to thank you guys for your time and being able to sit down with me um usually it's um I, it's really hard to schedule one person so I really appreciate being able to get all three of you um, in the room together and um, shout out to Nicholas for making all of this happen. Um, again, I wanted to thank thank you all, but um, also just make sure that you tune in to all of our social media platforms on Instagram and Twitter at ASUN Sports and also make sure that you like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube if you have the time. So um, make time for real, just make time. But um, again, thank you guys. Um, I, I learned a lot and definitely have to try this new pizza, um, egg sandwiches, all about it, and um, be like water. So, yes, I had to throw it in there. Um, you, you had to. Be yeah, like you're water. talking about like, you know, being adaptable, and I was like, I have to say it, you know, in case, in case you're right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys. And um, until next time, this has been another installment of the Ace on Lunchbox. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.